race will take place in beautiful weather conditions. Hey, I'm the Catholic Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21 Career Mode, Episode 37. What's this, you might ask? Wait, what's this? Oh, it's Mickey Mouse ears, of course. And what's this, you might ask? Yeah, it's a cupcake, a Mickey Mouse cupcake, because, you know, we're celebrating He's a birthday of the daycare, and that's break. just to be expected. Let's go ahead and leave this guy behind. It's Sepulveda. That's Diaz. That's really and this is our scenario. It's the National Championships of Argentina. Martin Guerrero, the favorite. Slightly. Nobody else wants to work with me. So there's, you know, that factor. But if we just, like, super back off, maybe we can kind of cruise our way along and... Wear out Diaz, let him go clear. Sepulveda will chase. There you go. Okay. Sepulveda will chase. This is good. We could wear out Diaz, leave him behind, and then just have to beat Sepulveda. This is that tricky scenario where we are slightly better than the others, making us the favorite, and them going to be putting everything on us to make it happen. Unless we can find a scenario like this. Sepulveda chasing Diaz. You can already see Diaz shoulder bobbing. This is good as we approach the climb. The climb that we're going to hit five times. But you finish long after the climb. After the descent. After the slight downhill run in towards the finish line. All of this makes it really tricky. But right now, Sepulveda doing all the work. Diaz doing all the solo work and only seconds ahead and Martin Guerrero not recovering because of the heart rate because they're both pushing but they're both pushing and we're sitting on this is perfect scenario right now this 25 seconds I want to see these two get exhausted over the next 20k and then leave them in the dust and ride solo and hope that they don't come together they remain one by one and man, oh man, this would be an easy victory under those circumstances. And this is a pretty hefty climb. As we come back together, can we leave them in the dust before we get over the top? The front group is disorganized, and some riders are exploiting How's our downhill? 71. Okay. Sit up. They're going to come back at us here pretty quick. They are. But there's that recovery going on. And we're able to uh, get things going. Nope, back together. Okay, ease off. Sepulveda willing to work. Sepulveda not willing to work. This is going to be tricky. Let's just sit on and recover. No reason for me to be exhausted. No reason for any of us to work right now. And when they attack, good. Because when they attack... If it's Diaz, Sepulveda, we already know, will not let him get away. Okay, back to full strength. Okay, let's contribute lightly and just push the pace along. Next climb, we can make it hard because that's where our, our advantage is. We have a 77 mountain, 76 resistance. We're a little bit punchy, so... We could cruise at an 85 and, and bury these guys over these climbs. Leave them tired, leave them exhausted, but we just can't keep it up long term. That's why this is such a tricky, tricky scenario we find ourselves in to potentially beat these guys. And it was so much better when Diaz decided that he wanted to attack. And there you go. The We're clear again. Diaz on the attack. Sepulveda chasing. Take a normal relay, we're contributing, but not getting ditched. And not actually doing the work. This is what I like to see. Alright, that, that Mickey Mouse cupcake, let's call him a name. I don't do sweets very much, but uh, through all the chaos of the last month or so, as we're already bringing it back, and we're about to hit the climb. As soon as it's back together, we attack. Go clear. Okay, we're clear. Push a little harder. They've split up. That's good. 85 for the climb. Sepulveda coming with me. 
I'm kind of okay with this for a little bit. Can we hurt him? He's an okay climber. Sepulveda is the threat. He's a 73 mountain 70 resistance. He's not us. He's not as strong as Martin Guerrero, but he's up there. It's already over a minute. Back to Diaz. And am I leaving him behind? I am. Excellent. Excellent. Just what I wanted to see. 140k to go, though. That is an absurdly long, long, long long time to be riding solo and at 13 gap huge gap now and we will begin recovery as soon as we hit the top water sit up ease off ease off two minute gap recovery ongoing nice long slow descent which is good it's going to take him a long long time to try to catch back up to us if he ever can. So we keep a nice slow steady pace. Keep that heart rate below. Okay, we can push a little harder because that heart rate's where we want it. He's pulled back 10 seconds, but that's very little. Okay, downhill sector. Can we get a little more recovery going? Not quite. But we can do this without really hurting ourselves much. Think of it like a long, slow, low, slow individual time trial. Because, you know, literally that's what we're in for right now. So heart rate's not too bad. This is tiring, though. But we're holding a two minute gap, and we are going to climb much better and faster than these guys, and it's going to open that gap up again further. We'll recover on the descent as best we can. But if they can't get back at me and they stay apart from each other, I think this climb is going to really open up some gaps and set us up for the final run-in. Pretty dang tired, though. Just going over the flat this far. Gaps opening up now to two minutes. Now's the time to use the gel for this climb because this is where that gap's going to massively blow up if we can climb faster than these guys. Two and a half minutes and not damaging ourselves. 240. We've only opened it up 10 seconds from where it was after the last one, but now it's opening. Now, there you go. Three minutes over the top and into recovery. We added 40 seconds from where it had been. Now recovery, so-so. Mm, Still recovering somewhat now through this part. Okay, gap at three minutes. But their chances of coming back are getting slim to none now. Got our water. Okay, now the heart rate's not so bad. He's coming back at us, but we are in better shape for the next climb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where we can open things up further like before. I'm not worried about him coming back because we had a healthy enough gap, meaning I can take it easier on the flat, put a little more into the climb, meaning I can actually extend the gap on the climb by quite a bit, not by a small amount. We added a minute last time where we lost 20 seconds on the flat. This time I'm losing over a minute on the flat, but how much can we open it up on the climb by pushing a little bit harder? I think we can cruise at about a 64, four and a half minute gap. We got this. We did what we needed to do. We let them put themselves under pressure, and then we attacked, used the climb to open up a gap, and then did enough to hang on to that gap, and then used our climbing strength of the subsequent climbs to uh, put this thing to rest. Gap's opening four minutes before the climb. We're at four minutes. 26K to go. Final time. Grab water one last time. There you go. Approaching five minutes. Okay, push a little harder. We do not need the full recovery this time, so we can definitely push harder. 76, five and a half minutes. What can we win by? 10K to go. 
Five minute gap. Nine K to go. While the pack is getting close to the Try finish line, 85. The finish it strong. Place. Give it your all. We don't need to cruise home. Only five kilometers left. Final 4K. There's the last little hill. 3K. Final kilometer. And we finish it off at near six minutes. But how will he do by the finish? It looks like it's going to be right about six minutes. Now we opened it up towards the end. I think we opened it up. I think we got it up over six. This is important. It was really important. We did. We got it well over six. Six and a half minutes to Sepulveda. Nice. I like it. Got the win. National Jersey, it's only April, but our 100% our is approaching, and that's what I wanted. So I'm happy now. Let's move forward. I'm going to go eat my cupcake. See you in a moment. I always wonder in this game, and I'm always back and forth. I'm, I'm very much riding the fence and have been for three, four years now on whether race results impact rider development. Now, we know in... Pro cyclist mode that it absolutely does in career mode it's always questionable whether you get bonuses by having strong race results by getting a victory and this is always pushing me towards thinking yes because one day ago martin guerrero was a 75 in mountain and a 75 overall today the next day, after claiming victory in his national championships, now Martin Guerrero sits as a 77 mountain. He got a plus two. He got a plus to his time trial, which might have been possibly plus three. His resistance is up one, two from where it was. Was he a 70 with a plus something? I don't know. What He's definitely leveled up, though. He went from a 75 to a 76. Regardless of where those attribute points are necessarily divided, distributed, he absolutely 100% without a doubt leveled up. And this is the next day. Sorry, two days. It was the 28th of April. It's now the 30th of April. Which is it? Do you level up from, or do you gain experience anyway from results? Or don't you? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Let's move forward. Vuelta Asturias. It's stage number one. The expectation as a team was a net plus two. The draw, a minus three, so a minus five on what it could have or should have been. But at least Berlikov's a zero. He didn't take a negative. Uh, Martin Guerrero's a zero. He didn't take a negative. And the rest are essentially our support climbers. So we'll deal with it. Here's the thing. On this mountain stage that we have today and therefore kind of the overall for the race Brokov's the favorite Martin Guerrero is fourth or fifth on the list so we have a real shot at getting result on this one it's Continental Pro teams we're finally in a race that's you know surrounded by Continental Pro teams not surrounded by World Tour teams where we're having to play second fiddle to those guys, where we're not quite at their level. It's our level. Let's see if we can force the issue, get the result that we need, that we deserve, that we want. Yeah. Look, she's still coming up. Okay, he's our puncher. He's not good for a day like this. So today he's definitely going to be riding support. Jeez, we're going 75 and we're not even gaining. There's 11 riders off the front. They do not have that large of a gap. And we're just kind of struggling to get up here. There we go. Look, she's... Okay, obviously we want to protect Berlikov, but let's get better climber on that. Kikovci. Yeah, 67 resistance. That's not going to do. Neither will a 68. 
Kovalevsky is clearly one of the weaker ones, and then Gonzalez Albia, 66. So we're kind of down to two strong men. Kiyokochi would be the other, but that minus three on resistance hurts. Isakov might be the other one as a result. The stamina resistance are both 68. And Kiyokochi, 67. Really same difference. Neither one can sprint. How are they on the flat? Uh, Okay, 68. Downhills is 68. Downhills is 68. Flats is 65. These guys are kind of neck and neck the same. Gonzalez Albiel doesn't need to be protecting either of them, but he's definitely weaker than both of them. Okay, gap. Got to watch out for this one. It's at four and a half minutes. Do not let it get too big. Let others... Oh, come on, Martin Guerrero. Nice. That's why you keep your team at the front of the peloton. Martin Guerrero punctures. Doesn't even go out the back of the peloton. First climb out of the way, we got a little cat three, and then we got a moderate cat two before the real action begins on the final two climbs. We see a withdrawal. We're seeing some tempo. We're seeing some splitting. The peloton's shrinking. It's 113 riders. Front group is split up. Gap is down to 345, so somebody else is taking care of all the chasing for us for now. When we get to that Category 1 climb, we're going to start working on blowing the field up. Meantime, we don't need to push too hard. Let's go 78, though. We don't want to get too far back. Martin Guerrero has not recovered his position yet. Is that because he can't get forward because of the tempo? Or is he not trying? He should be trying. Nice long flat section. Peloton's down to 92 riders. I didn't see a crash. Not sure why we would have a split around these parts, but I'll take it. Look at all that fatigue in the legs. I'm loving this. I am loving this as we head into these climbs to already be this tired. Already have the peloton to be split a bit. It's going to make our task so much easier to blow up the field and have Berlikov riding solo even before the end of the first of two Category 1 climbs. Down to 79 riders in the peloton. It's getting smaller, smaller, and smaller. Okay, let's get everyone. Kovalevsky is the furthest back. He's also totally fatigued. But can he offer a little bit of protection? Can Lukshis offer a little bit of protection? Let's go ahead and gel up for those two as we go to approach the flat. There's a split. That split will get covered off, I'm assuming. But it's taking some energy. It's burning quite a few riders to make that happen. Okay, there you go. It's back together. Approaching the climb. He was protecting Berlikov, but he's done. Let's get uh, Gonzalez Abiel on that task now. How's look she's doing? He's in place, but tired. Go love Sky. Uh, I need water. What the? I almost forgot. And we're about to hit the climb. Let's do it quick. finally gets the water and we're already hitting the climb that was way too long considering he had 10 bike lengths to go to get to the back of the peloton to raise his hand and then it took him that long to give him the water so he sat at the back for that whole period Kovalevsky is dropping back Lukšiš is dropping back we've already got Gonzalez Albiol now on Berlikov Let's get the water with Kyokovci, and then we're going to sprint train this thing from there. We're down to two riders off the front. Three-minute gap still <clears throat> to that front rider. But it's time. It's time. Let's do this thing, huh? Uh, we want to blow this field up. It's 5K. It's not that far, so we're going to go 85. Put those two on auto. The 72 is about to uh, change very quickly okay this one's obvious and then that one's obvious and then no none of this is obvious really those three are like neck and neck same it's all Selvio. let's go bud turn it on turn it on down to 49 poof or not 69 is 85 not enough cut the nail Movie star is here. 
Narvaez is here. This actually isn't the easiest field. Down to 41. Belarusian. Where is our Belarusian? Kovalevsky. Berlikov. What you doing, bud? Hanging out with Narvaez. You trying to mark him? Pedrero. Pricker. M. Pricker. German. I guess that would be Precker. 78 Mountains, 70 Resistance. Isakov, we just split off. Kikovji, ah. Kikovji. Martin Guerrero, ease forward here, please. Get back up there to Isakov, and then we'll have Isakov take over. We're starting the last third of the race. Okay, that's good. Back to 85, back to maintain. Follow Isakov, Isakov, gel, and go. Okay, it's still 224 to the lead rider, and we are seeing an attack. That's fine by me. Let them burn out their energy. It's a good to show the team Do the 85. Give them the, the disbelief the that they could actually do work. something here. Still just 700 meters to the top, so actually we're looking at uh, a four-man show once we get over. Kovci dropped. Gonzalo Selbio dropped. 19 remain as we head into uh, so sure the descent here. No this cub we need to keep pressure on but let him recover slightly. And those guys did get off the front. Romano Elkim Sabedo is the one who remains off the front but he lost a minute in that last few kilometers and with just two minutes and the length of the climb to go and being solo now his chances are very slim. I have three guys. Our chances are very good. Zagira trying to attack on the descent. Not a very good descent to attack on. It's technical. It's somewhat, somewhat steep. And it's pouring. We'll push a little harder though. We don't want to let Zagira get too far away. His little 12 second advantage. Let's check on Berlika, make sure he's not too far back. All right, the descent is done. Now Thalman trying to attack, Lopez trying to attack. But we're gonna start climbing in a moment. That's where I wanna pick it up. It's okay if these guys gain a few seconds or push a little harder. In fact, Isakov can just sit on for right now and now we can start climbing. There we go, turn it on a little bit more. Already seeing Nicolau, Thalman, Lopez starting to fade, Swerble. These guys are pushing too hard, too fast to get away. And Martin Guerrero and Berlikov are not feeling that pressure. Isikov is the one absorbing. Elkame trying to go clear, Romano leading it. Look at all those tired legs. That are now slipping to the back, just hanging on as Isakov finally has weathered the storm. Now it's Rodriguez. He has weathered that storm, and Martin Guerrero will take over soon, where Berlikov and he will have an easy time. Toins. The current pace is a bit too docile for some riders. Isakov, to Otto, Martin Guerrero. Follow the move. That was a big attack that didn't even gain separation. But this road is skinny. It's steep right now. We're going to see a little descent. Watch out. A team leader is falling behind. 16 chasing one. There is Sabato who had that healthy lead. Now it's grown quite small. Okay, there's that little kink of the road. Martin Guerrero has already nearly made the front. Still 9k to go on the climb. And it's all ascending from here. But not super steep, actually. We've already been through the steepest sectors. But we're at 5%. 6%. 7%. This. This is what I was waiting for. This time, anyway. Because Martin Guerrero is pushing pretty hard. Down to 11 Berlikov, gel, down to seven, pause, a 
attack with a little oomph or a Guerrero sit on. I'm still thinking about his race. He sits fifth overall. And he sprints away in attack. Oof. Berlikov had plenty of energy. That drained that real quick, and the only one dropped was Martin Guerrero. Narvaez still with us. Gino Mater with us. 4K to go to the top. 75 downhill. Narvaez is a 72. Mater's good on the downhill. He is a real threat going forward. We need to leave him behind before the top. I'm not quite sure how we do that. Gel kicks in. He's struggling. Can we leave him behind? Can we leave them behind? Oh, the attack is withdrawn. Berlikov goes for the attack, clearly starts to gain separation, and then instantly sits up, and we have no attack possibility any longer. 1.7. Use your energy, bud. We can recover on the descent. We need to get Mater off our wheel, and we do. Narvaez goes with us, though. I can beat him on the descent, potentially. Mark Guerrero... Sitting on with Pere Pentier. Berlikov over the top. Will they work together? 15 kilometers remaining. Berlikov picks up 16 points. Recovery beginning. Martin Guerrero still sitting in the 4th, 5th window. 40 seconds behind us. And recovery is slight. Is Can we open up a little gap and leave Narvaez behind? No. That's really a bunch of How well can we push? We need to think about what's going on behind us. Even if Narvaez might steal the stage from us. Can we open up a little gap somewhere? Attack the descent. Overall on the line. Attack over the top here. Can I open up a little gap on this descent? It's risky. It's risky. Attack. Open a gap. Come on. Martin Guerrero goes down. Oh, well, there goes his fifth place. It's all Berlikov now. Can he open that gap? Two and a half K. Push. He's on attack, but he's not actually attacking. Sprint. 1.6. He's on sprint. He's got a little edge over Narvaez, but Narvaez is close. There he is, and we come to the line. Can he hang on to beat Narvaez? He will. He will. He takes the win. Martin Guerrero has recovered, but he lost a lot of ground. He needs to attack full force. He's already crashed. Can he? Does he have anything left? Berlikov takes the win ahead of Narvaez. Mater took third. Kudos had actually caught up. The uh, South African took fourth on the stage. Sabato hangs on for sixth. Excellent result for him. Martin Guerrero, who was sitting in the fourth, fifth position, drops to 17th unlucky for him the only crash on this descent out of everybody there's still a lot of riders that haven't even begun the descent that are still climbing Keegan Swerble, Jao Rodriguez Rodriguez missed the top 10, Izaguirre missed the top 10, Storer down in 16th, Cataneo in 18th, that's a lot of good climbers, decent climbers, quality climbers, ooh, hello sunshine on my face gee thanks, that type Time of day. It is that time of day. Really need to get my recording done earlier, but that's tricky when I have volleyball practice in the morning and, you know, birthdays to celebrate and whatnot. Well, anyway. So far, so good in this race. We got the stage. Narvaez on same time, though. Not going to be easy. We have a four second time bonus. We have a punchy stage to go, or two punchy stages to go, or a punchy and a sprint stage, something like that. But we'll continue this journey next time. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.